Alright Nate, what are we doing today? It's a range test. Gonna do a little bit of climbing up one of the uh, steepest trails that we have. One of the trails that has given us up a hard there. time on our uh, KTMs before giving me a hard time. The last time, uh, I, the last two times I rode this I came back in the dark. Let's try not to do that today. Yep, this is the ride that we did the Good, Bad and Ugly trail on. If you guys remember that video where we got ourselves in trouble. And we've been wanting to come up here for what? Feels like all summer, right? All last summer. Last time we got stuck in snow, well, we just got our first snow last night. I just made one little mistake on a range test. So some fellow Suron guys were up here and wanted to try out a 72 volt <laughs> bike, so I let them take, it up, take my bike up for a second. Um, so they're gonna use a little extra battery, uh, which is unfortunate, so. But they were only gone less than five minutes, so. Hopefully it won't make too big a difference. But yeah, dude, on massive. the way up though, I was like, maybe quarter throttle gave it like half, and it's like, just yeah, takes off. I was like, holy. And, and that's only like half power. This yeah. is this is tuned to 12 kilowatts right now. Dude, and the suspension and the tires are so much better. Yeah, yeah, like a rattle trap. Yeah, compared to this thing, that's awesome. Tires are a must-have on these yeah. things. <laughs> that would probably be my next upgrade. All right, my battery still says 100% even though we let somebody take my uh, 72 volt on a joyride. So you guys are both stock power, both 1619. Yeah, our Pre bikes are pretty much the same. Other than the 58 versus the 54, four teeth. We'll see if that makes a difference. Also have a 20 pound difference. Yep. That might not, yeah, yeah. That so might compensate for it. 20, 20. So Nate's the lightest, you're in the middle, and then I'm another 20 pounds. So there's 40 pounds between yeah. Nate and I. So it'll be a little interesting to see the difference between weight on your guys' bike. I'm on the bigger, more powerful bike with the bigger battery. So we're gonna let Justin go first and he's gonna pace us. Nate's gonna follow and then I'll go last and we're, we'll all be going the same speed so that we can uh, try and get a decent range test out of okay. this. Sounds good. Sounds good? Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> it's actually kind of slippery. This is a good example of why it's hard to do range testing. Like, Every time we come up here and ride, it's different conditions, um, especially with the people that are up here between the hikers and the mountain bikers. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to come up here and do range testing on separate rides. So grabbing Justin and Nate to all come up here together and ride the exact same speed is really the only way to make this happen. So I'm only running at power level two right now. And I'm on the EBMX 72 volt battery on the 12 kilowatt tune. So I'm riding at number two and I have more power than the two guys in front of me. So far it feels good. <laughs> oh, inside line. Inside line always. I got a little bit of fall colors up here. Oh, I can't wait to get my Warp 9 uh, hand guards. It hurts going through stuff like this with no hand guards. Especially when it hits your fingernail. Man, that stinks. So what battery percentage do you got, Justin? 78. What about you? 76. So 78, 76. This says 75, but I did let somebody ride this. So right now we're pretty even, I'd say. I'd say even. So we've got about, this says 2.7, his says 2.8, and we've climbed uh, 1,364 feet. Little tiny log hop. These days we're gonna have to find some real logs to conquer on these things. Let's see if we can punch some logs with my sister. Do you 
want to follow my sister, it's Dirty Sherry. But be careful how you spell that. You might get some, some other kind of Dirty Sherry. If you guys have watched our uh, Good, Bad, and Ugly ride, this is where Nate and I were plowing through uh, snowdrift after snowdrift. Where, where are we going, Brian? We're going to where the snow is up there. So we've gone five miles, 2,254 feet, uh, and we're still heading towards the peak. So 56, 61, 55. 55. So I've definitely got a pretty big advantage at the moment. Actually dropped down to power level one, and I think power level one on the 72 volt is pretty close to stock power. Because these guys are on stock power, and I, it seems like I'm going the same speed. I'm on level one now, going your exact same speed. Wow. So I was pinned that whole way up. I was in power level number one, exactly. and I felt like it was the exact same power as you. I was this is. Everything I have. Minus my extra weight in 1821s. That's crazy. So that's how powerful the 72 volt is. Yesterday, in the news, uh, just a few peaks south of us, um, they were calling search and rescue for 86 trail runners. It made Fox News. Oh, it did? Like mainstream my, news? My mom and dad told me about it today. No way! Yeah. So Justin's a big time mountain biker. He's not really gotten into motorcycles. He's ridden them, but he's not, it's never been like a big thing for him. So the Suron is kind of his first entry into motorcycles. And he's loving it. We got some snow. The snow starts here. Looks like we haven't been the only ones up here in the snow on the bikes. Now let's not shoot off the trail. Whoops. <laughs> Low speed crash. <laughs> oh man, Brian and I are all too familiar with this ride from last time. Are you still thinking we're going to make it up the switchbacks? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, let's go find out. Let's go find out. These switchbacks are so much easier on the Suron versus the KTMs because so lightweight and small. You just lean these things right over. And, and uh... Oh, that's slick on the rocks. <laughs> the uh, rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rear end's sliding around. So this is where you want to be really loose on the bike. Let the bike just go where it wants to go. Nate just attempted to go up there, and you'll see in the drone footage, he got stuck at the next switchback, which is not very far up. It's what, maybe 50 yards or yeah. so? Um, I'm not going to ride my bike up there, and we're going to consider that being even because that bike got ridden at the very beginning by some guys that were curious about the 72 volt and wanted to feel the power. Um, in fact, they probably rode further than what you just did, but we're going to call that even. I'm at 47%. And wow. Holy crap. What are you? 34. 34. 28. 28. So I was already 2% less than uh, Justin. Um, and then, yeah, I was just spinning like crazy trying to make it up those. 
The uh, upgraded battery is showing some pretty big advantage at this point. Well, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, early on, we were all equal, right? Yeah. It seems like these OEM batteries, like anything, stay full longer, but as soon as you break 80, it's oh, yeah. it's exponentially drops. Yeah. It's not like a you know parallel line where yours, maybe it's just the range or the, the actual controller is making it more of a, you know, not so exponential of a drop. So when EBMX was designing these batteries and testing them, one of the big things they told us is, the, the, one of the biggest things you'll notice is lack of voltage sag. Um, when yeah. you upgrade one of these stock batteries with a back 4000, as soon as you get below 60%, you start feeling some major power degradation. And then when you get down around 55 volts yeah. or around 20%, okay. the bike will start cutting out. Because okay. the, the voltage will sag all the way down to 48 volts. Uh, I've felt zero voltage sag on this thing, on this ride. Of course, I'm not riding at yeah. high power levels. No, you're going the same speed that we used. Now it's at 38. So now that it's settling, it actually has more percentage. So it's exactly 30% from your bike, because you're at eight. Yes. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm betting, because it's on setting two, you could probably run this down to whatever number, 5%, mm -hmm. and not notice till you get beyond the 2% power range, you know? I'm sure if you put it up to five right now, you probably feel a difference. Yeah. The power setting two, you probably could take it, you get a full 100% battery. So let's do some math. So how far was that? According to mine, that was 14.78. Okay, so, so let's say 15 miles. Yeah. And your batteries were completely extinguished. And there's 4,000, well, it wasn't 4,000 feet elevation gain. That was probably more like three or even under three we start here yeah okay. but when we got to the top we were at what 20 just 25 24 basically? 20 yeah me so, you were then a couple percent in the 20s so we used 75 percent of the battery climbing when we go to the top of that mountain it's what a 19 mile or 18 mile uh, i think it's like 16 18. Yeah. oh kind of extra credit bonus stuff yeah know. i usually ride past it a little bit yeah and that's as far as you can ride these bikes you can't go any farther when on, that, per that, on that particular yeah. ride so if we this has 30 percent more battery on a similar ride so it's about an extra five miles on a ride like that. Maybe a little more. But the thing is though, our ride ended switchbacks a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. We were just getting back to the vehicle. He was still doing wheelies. Yeah. So even the kind of ride that the riding it gives you is still significant. Even though we made it back, our ride was kind of dead the last mile or two. Yeah, that's true. You know, we were just... That was no fun on the way no, down on your bike. Not. It had zero power. It was oh, terrible. Yeah, no. When I did Lewis the other day and I gave it wide open the whole way up the top, that happened like halfway on the way down. Yeah. I was really just like, yeah. Oh, come on. And for these, the rides that we do out here, like you, you know, this is, what, this is like the shortest ride yeah. you can really do, right? And one other thing, I weigh the most. So, and had the heaviest setup. Yeah, the 1821s take more power. My extra weight takes more power. So, had you guys been riding this bike the whole time, it would have more than 40% uh, battery. I yeah. bet it'd have maybe 45. Because, um, you know, 40 pounds hauling at 3,000 feet, you can't defy physics. That's a lot of energy to that do is. this. Absolutely. So, yeah, big difference. Killer. Love it. Fun ride. Can't wait to see the drone footage.